Hey, forsooth and whatnot, Digital Soul here. Psh. Now, yeah, look at Big Buff Night for Trick or Treat. I even got legs and boots and stuff, but you're not going to see all that, man. What I'm here to, t I look like, I thought I would look like a cool knight, but I feel that I look a little bit more like the dude at the end of Indiana Jones and the quest for the grail and stuff. You picked wisely. You know, whatever. Anyway, anyway. What I'm here to talk about is trick-or-treat kids and situations at Halloween, man. You remember when you was a kid, you know, you love some Halloween, and that sort of carries over to when you're a teenager. But then you wind up having your teenage mind, and teenagers like to cause ruckus and have fun and mess with people because they think that's what's fun. But what you people need to realize is, remember when you was little shit? Remember when you was little and you was getting your trick-or-treat on and you see them big kids running around messing up your Halloween, man? Remember how that used to upset you? Well, consider that, man. You're thinking, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out and mess their freaking Halloween up. It happened to me. It doesn't have to be that way, man. Or, you know, you see bigger kids running around trying to steal someone's candy or something. I'll knock you out. Let me see you try to come over and steal my candy I'll put it on you like you don't you don't even want to know what'll happen because it'll happen because I'm a knight and I don't have a sword but I can get one don't mess I can but um it's just you know it, it, it's it's supposed to be a fun holiday for kids you know what I'm saying I think that I stopped trick-or-treating when I was 13 and that was mainly because my head got so freaking big because I got this big potato melon head and it, it's horses. I'm, I'm only like six foot one, but this is like a seven and five eighth ball cap. You know what I'm saying? It's not huge or anything, but it, it's pretty big. And you know, when stuff just don't fit right, it, it sort of makes you feel funny. So I figured, you know, I'll stay home and I'll give out the candy to the children. You know, they'll come to the door, they'll knock and stuff. And then there's be times where, where you know, if you want to have fun, scare someone when they come to your house for that candy. Make them pay. Sit in that chair all you know, they used to deck me out in like a scarecrow and they'd have the hay coming out and, and you just sit there and you don't even move and then someone comes up and they try to take the bowl of candy that's like near you and you're, ah, you know, you just get them like that. Do that if you want to have some fun on Halloween, but but don't ruin it for somebody else, man. You know what I mean? Just let people have fun. Let them do their thing or go to an adult type party and do that, you know what I mean? Because you don't need that candy that bad, man. Go down the street. It'll be on sale in like a week. You know, after Halloween, it'll be like next to nothing. You can wait. Need that candy that bad. Did you 20 years old trick-or-treating? Shame on you, man. Shame on you. I walk my kids around. My kids insisted this year that I wear a costume because I, I don't never wear a costume. Never. I got two nieces. One is going to be Daryl because... Uh, and it, look, her mom hooked her up with this real vest from The Walking Dead, Daryl. I, I, I should have, you know, said what I was trying to say, but, you know, hooked it up. It looks good. And then my other niece is going to be the girl from The Hunger Games, and she just looks phenomenal. And then my kids, Hayden is going to be really scary because that's what he likes to do. And then Cole, Cole's going to be a boxer because there was like 100 costumes on the wall. And out of the hundred costumes and all the cool things that he could be, he wanted to be a boxer, which is cool because he don't like keeping his mask on anyway. But, you know, I just want people to be safe, have a good time trick-or-treating, or else I'll come whoop your ass. I'll come find you. You know, don't start no problems, man. Just keep it fun, entertaining, and remember that it's about the kids. It's about the kids having a good time. Don't go out there and wreck it, man. There's so 10,000 other things that you can go do to have fun instead of pissing with little kids on Halloween. But this is Digital Soul. Appreciate you guys stopping by. I'm a knight. My glossy, glittery. Look at that. That's real gold. That's the real deal. This is real chain mail. Look at it. You could look at that. That's real. That's real McCoy. And, 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 and until next time, let me leave you with this really important message. But you got to wait for it. It's coming. Hold on a second.